Hey guys, how's it going? Today I have a like kind of random haul, but it's um, from four of the smaller brands that like we all know and love, but you have to buy them off of their own websites only, and they don't get sold in random stores, stuff like that. Um, so I thought I would just go through what I got from those brands and talk you through it. Um, the first thing that I got was a bunch of ColourPop stuff. Um, ColourPop is bomb.com as far as I'm concerned. Um, I got this super shock cheek pearlized in honeymoon, which looks like this. Let's see if I can get my yeah, there we go. Let me just undo it for you. It's this crazy silver color, and it's a highlighter. Although they call it a super shock cheek color, which I'm just like really. It is like mm, unicorn rainbows. Like I don't know if you guys can see that, but. I was fairly impressed with that guy. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Don't have any more room for highlighters, but let's do it, ColourPop. Um, I, I, I still way went on just to get that. And then I found some other stuff. Um, <laughs> this ColourPop liquid lipstick in Hutch, which is totally my bag. Although I'm wondering, let's look at it. It's really dark. It's like MAC Rebel. Had a older sister who was going through her goth phase right there. I saw someone on Instagram wearing it and I was like, yes, thank you. Maybe I'll put that on later. Um, what else did I get? I got a, another Super Shock Cheek highlighter. And this one is in Over the Moon. Yes. I don't know even why I show you these things because you can't tell from there. So they did these set of highlighters and they like are basically duochrome highlighters. So that last one was kind of like a pearly blue purple color. And this one is pink, pinky purple. Can you guys see that? So this is the other one. And then this is this one. I'm going off of what I see as a highlight. <sighs> I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> um, usually when I do it, I'm actually like kind of in I'm getting destructive. I'm kind of impressed in how much you actually can see. So let's do that. Those are the two. Um, and then I got three eyeshadow colors, even though I really shouldn't. Like, I have too many eyeshadows from ColourPop. Oh my gosh. Um, but they have this one called Stereo. Totally up my alley. Let me swatch this for you. It's kind of very close to the color I'm wearing right now. Well, one of them. So it's a, like, black with red goodness in it. And I have something very much like it on the outside, which is a MAC color that I'm not sure what the name of is because I'm a bad YouTuber and I don't look these things up. I think I need to find me a wet wipe real soon here. I'm not going to swatch any more of these. I'm just going to show them to you. Um, I have this other one called Static, which is surprisingly similar to that one, although it's more of a burgundy color. I really do want to swatch this though. I'm going to do it right there and it's kind of like metallic finished I'm into it as you can tell I like red eyeshadows what am I wearing right now red eyeshadow what color am I in general pink verging on red and lastly <laughs> paradox which happens to also be I didn't realize about three red, red eyeshadows this one is a more bright more bright a brighter color hi I've mastered the English language. Uh, and it's kind of more matte-ish. It's there. It's not actually matte, but it's more matte. Let me find... Hey, wait, wait. And we're back. And we are significantly cleaner. I also got, it looks like four colors from Ofra of their liquid lipsticks. They look like this. One of which I'm wearing right now, and that is Atlantis. It is this color. I really like it. Um, this color is called Emerald City, and it is like purple and green and every color in between. And it is rainbowy and delicious and totally weird. Like, that's not a wearing over to your grandma's house color. Um, this one is called Utopia. Um, these were limited edition. I don't know if they still have them or not. This hauls are over like the last two months of buying stuff. I've been horrible about filming. I'm such a bad YouTuber. Um, this one's called Wonderland. 
and it is nice and purple, the duochrome blue in it. I really like that guy too. Um, I am completely out of room for liquid lipsticks, so don't know what I'm going to do. Speaking of that, hey look, <laughs> I shopped at Colored Rain. Do you guys know what Colored Rain is? Um, it is a website um, that is awesome, actually. They have many awesome lipsticks and I decided to give them a go. Um, some of these are crazy. Um, and So I bought three of their liquid lipsticks and then I got one eyeshadow um, to try out their eyeshadow formula. Okay, so we have Mary, which <laughs> I think this means Bloody Mary. Let me just swatch this guy for you. Yes. Do it there. I believe this is metallic. Like it has a shimmer effect. Um, let me toss these. Um, then I got, like, this one looks kind of matte ish, and it's called XOXO. And it is liquid. What's the other one I like that's not MAC Rebel? It's pretty close to MAC Rebel, though. This one. XOXO from Colored Rain. And then I couldn't resist this crazy blue one called Rockstar. These things are rolling all over my desk. Here, have a ColourPop eyeshadow to stop you. For reals, guys. This is a very blue lipstick. Um, I was inspired by Sarah. Not your typical doll face here. I will link her channel below. She loves a blue lipstick. Occasionally I do too. This is a metallic blue. Um, I like the one from OCC a lot, so I thought I'd give this a go. Um, and then I got this eyeshadow, which I haven't even opened yet, called Forbidden. It comes in packaging that looks like this, um, which means you need to have a Z palette ready to go. Fortunately, I do. Um, I got really angry at last year's Tarte palettes, Christmas palettes, and I tore it apart, and then I realized you can't actually get the makeup out of it, which I'm like super pissed about. Like it's adhered there. And if you want to do it, you have to basically bend and break them like this guy. I didn't buy this year's because it's the same packaging except just different colors. First of all, that other one last year was hideous. Um, but I basically had to do, go to war to get it this far and I can't get, I got a bunch of them out, but they're all cracked and broken in here. Like, let me just show you. I'm going to do a diatribe right now. Do you see how these are all like broken and messed up? I shouldn't have to do that to get these out of here, because there's no way to heat that up to get them out. Tarte, if you're listening, your packaging blows from your Christmas palettes. You need to make those removable, because none of all of us have, like, that packaging was, like, literally this thick. I don't have that kind of space in my drawers. Back to Colored Rain, who deserves <laughs> more of my attention. Um, this is the eyeshadow in Forbidden. It is a blackish green color. It's very much like that red I just showed you uh, from ColourPop, except it's green. Um, so I'm pretty pumped on that guy. Let me just throw this in the C palette before anything horrible happens. Okay, so that was Colored Rain. Um, and then I went to this place and it's called Who Is She Cosmetics? And I think this one was on Etsy. Maybe. They may have their own website. Um, I will try to find out where I got like the actual website link and link it below. And I bought two collections of lipsticks. They come in this format, which is really bizarre. And I've never encountered this before. Um, uh, Anaya? Whoa. Whoa. These are really gooey, so you gotta be careful. Like, this lipstick. So you definitely need a lip brush. Um, this one is called Rain, and this one has a duochrome, like, purple in it, which is kind of awesome. And I've never gotten lipstick in this format. I don't think this is like travelable. Like I don't think I would take this in my bag with me. But this one's called Silent Rose. I thought it was worth like checking out. This one is like pink with a purple duochrome. Peachy pink with a du duochrome. Um, and I'm gonna do review videos on all these when I find out what I think about them. I think these are, are pain in the ass. <laughs> this one's Black Cherry. This is kind of why I went in there, because I was like, yes. Um, and then there's three other ones in a different package. Um, okay, this one is Samara. This one's really pretty. I'm not, like, I didn't buy that Urban Decay Lipstick Vice Palette, because I am not a liquid, like, a lip brush girl. Like, 
that's too much faff for me. Um, this one's melted copper, but maybe once I have these and I try it enough, I will like this. This is melted copper. These are really gooey though. So I'm like, are these gonna be like tacky lipsticks that I hate? Like basically lip glosses. Um, and this one is called Simmer. And wow, this one's really beautiful. I hope you're getting the colors the way I am. Lights are not killing them. Uh, next we have a couple things from LA Splash Cosmetics. I did buy two of the Dia de los Muertos lipsticks because they're beautiful. They come in this kind of packaging with their little skull guy on the bottom. Um, and they're both, they're all different. I think there was five of them. There was a bunch last year, so that, that matches the skull guy that's on here. Um, this one is in El Cachin. Um, that is a beautiful, like, sort of pinky red. Looks like this. And this guy is in Los Novios. Um, I think Ellie Splash Cosmetics is the bomb.com. Um, this is the packaging for that guy. Freaking think this is so cute. I wanted to buy more of them, but like some of the colors, I was just like, that is not my color. Um, but they are still in stock, so <laughs> you might want to go check them out. This one's more of a pink color. Um, looks like that. Color, uh, sorry, lip, the Lip Couture's, sorry, I have to sneeze. <laughs> um, the Lip Couture's from Ellie Splash are drying. You have to know that going in buying them. They are like six bucks though. They're awesome. Um, and they are drying. I'm not gonna like beat around the bush. You do, you should definitely like uh, chapstick before you put them on, like while you're putting on your other makeup and then wipe your chapstick off and put them on. Um, and then there are ways to get around that also, you know, putting a lip gloss over them works a little bit better to keep them a little bit less drying, stuff like that. Um, lastly, I have this stuff from Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know how I feel about Kylie in general, or any of the Kardashian slash Jenners, but someone said, I think it was Tati, said that these two, um, I think they're eyeliners, is that right? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use them as, like, basically liquid eyeshadows. Um, I think maybe they are copper, um, is one of them. And let me swatch this for you. That's on my hand. That's there, like Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Those of you who know me know how hard that was. Um, Jiminy Cricket, these are awesome. <laughs> um, so, and and I think it was Tati who said that they last a really long time. So I thought I would give Kylie a chance to tell me how awesome her stuff is. I don't know. I don't know what to think about her. Like, it's not that I think bad things about her, but I just like I don't know what to think about her, right? Um, whoa, this is a huge watch. Sorry. Um, <laughs> this one is rose gold. So copper and rose gold are there. Um, so far these seem awesome, so cool, awesome, Kylie. I try to stay out of the political business of makeup, um, so I don't get involved in that part of it, but um, I think she's not a very nice person a lot of the time, and so it makes me not want to buy stuff from her. I like, I mean, like, part of the reason I like Makeup Geek so much is because I think Marlena is a really nice person, like, just in general. Like, I've met her in person and she was very sweet to me and stuff. But in general, she seems to be, like, very pleasant. Um, and I don't know what I think about Kylie. It just doesn't seem, like, super kind, in my opinion. But I could be wrong because I don't actually know her and I just see her reactions to things, so who knows? And the public eye is a weird place. Anyway. I'm giving it a shot anyway, <laughs> just to see, because I'm gonna let her makeup stand for itself. So I will let you know what I think about those once I give them a good test. Um, so far they look really great, and I like the metallicness of them, so yay. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, did you guys haul any indie brand stuff recently? Did you like it? If so, tell me, is there any indie brands I should try? Tell me. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.